Medical Health Services Recruitment Board, TG, MHSRB Staff Nurse and Lab Technician Recruitment, Most Important MCQs, Easy to Prepare. Part 1, Part 2, Chudandi, this is Part 3, Subject Wise Gun and Prepare Chasunanu. Welcome to my channel, subscribe to my channel, stay safe, stay healthy. Each question, me ko answer the list, comment box lo, comment chandi, any answers correct I neo kuda, miri chudandi. Idi hospital walu baga chay galaru, e question paper. So, first thing, in following, which is a vector bond disease? A. Diphtheria. B. Dengue. C. Tetanus. D. Measles. Did you guess the answer? Yes, the vector bond disease is B. Dengue. So, infections that are transmitted to humans and other animals by blood feeding anthropods such as mosquitoes, ticks and fleas. So, here we have Dengue. Answer B. Which of the following is recommended along with intravenous administration of quinine sulfate for treatment of malaria? A. Hydrocortisone, B. Multivitamin, C. Glucose, D. Calcium gluconate. It's easy answer. Guess it? Yes. It's answer C. Glucose. Glucose is given along with quinine sulfate to treat malaria because severe malaria can cause hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. Which out of the following drug should be given first in a patient of acute myocardial infarction? A. Statin B. Calcium channel blocker C. Aspirin D. ACE inhibitor Guess the answer? Yes, it is C. Aspirin Aspirin thins the blood which helps to lower your risk for a stroke or heart attack. Aspirin stops their clotting action. Which of the following medicines is useful for reducing raised intracranial pressure? A. IV mannitol, B. IV phenytoin, C. IV dizepam, D. IV nitroglycerin. I think you have got an answer. Yes, you are right. It is A. IV mannitol. Mannitol is osmotic diuretic that can reduce intracranial pressure associated with cerebral edema. Mannitol's effects can begin within minutes. Which of the following medicines is useful in the treatment of organophosphorus poisoning? A. Neostigmine B. Atropine C. Magnesium Sulfate D. D. Pencilamine Got the answer? Yes, it is B. Atropine Atropine injection is used to treat poisoning caused by organophosphorus nerve agents including organophosphorus or carbamate insecticides. During hemodialysis, which of the following drug is used to prevent blood clotting? A. Aspirin B. Warfarin C. Heparin D. Protomine Got the answer? Yes, it is. Answer C. Heparin Routine hemodialysis requires anticoagulations with heparin to prevent clotting in the extracorporeal circuit. Right option is C. Which of the following is the antidote for a patient with overdose of heparin? A. Protamine sulfate B. Vitamin K C. Atropine sulfate D. Physostigmine Guess the answer? Yes, it is A. Protamine sulfate Protamine is a medication used to reverse and neutralize the anticoagulant effects of heparin. The right answer is option A. Analgesics are given A. To relieve pain B. Go give rest C. To induce sleep D. To destroy pathogenic microorganisms It is an easy one. I think you have already given option. Yes, you are right. It's A. To relieve pain Analgesics also called painkillers or medications that relieve different types of pain from headaches to injuries to arthritis. Paracetamol medicine or drug is A. Antipyretic B. Antidecessive C. Anti-asthmatic D. Anti-emetic By this time you might have answered Yes, it is antipyretic Answer A It is used to treat fever 
and mild to moderate pain. Paracetamol is used as an analgesic and antipyretic drug. In following, which is a side effect of streptomycin? A. 8th cranial nerve damage D. Damage to growing cartilage C. Bone marrow depression D. Diarrhea So this is a little tough one. So it is answer A. 8th cranial nerve damage Streptomycin is toxic for the 8th cranial nerve including that of the fetus and its use should therefore be avoided in pregnancy. Morphine is contraindicated in A. Angina, B. Bronchial Asthma, C. Pancreatitis, D. MI. Did you got the answer? Yes, you have guessed it right. The answer is B. Bronchial Asthma. Morphine can be contraindicated for the patients with bronchial asthma because it can further decrease respiratory drive and exacerbate asthma. In following, which medicine is used to treat allergic conditions? A. Citrusin, B. Dexona, C. Chlorophenramine, D. All of the above. Have you guessed the answer? Yes, you are right. It is D. All of the above. Citrusin is antihistamine. Dexona, dexamethasone is anti-inflammatory. And chlorophenramine is a medication that treats allergies, the common cold, asthma and hay fever, etc. Pseudoephedrine is a A. Antimanic B. Decongestant C. Anticoagulant D. Antiemetic Did you guess the answer? Yes, it is answer B. Decongestant Pseudoephedrine is a decongestant that helps you to breathe more easily if your nose is stuffy or blocked Example, Ephrin, Distan, Vix, Sinex, etc. 1 teaspoonful medicine is equal to A 2 ml, B 3 ml, C 5 ml, D 10 ml. You have to say the standardized ml which is counted in a lab. Standard measuring spoons are used. S the answer is C 5 ml. 1 standardized teaspoon is equal to 5 ml. Standardized tablespoon is equal to 15 ml. So don't get confused. Which drug may cause grey baby syndrome? A. Chloramphenicol B. Gentamicin C. Penicillin D. Tetracycline Did you guess the answer? Yes, it is A. Chloramphenicol So the antibiotic chloramphenicol can cause grey baby syndrome, a life-threatening reaction in infants. This syndrome is more common in premature infants. In following, which drug control the progress of AIDS? A. Ampicillin B. Zidovudine C. Streptomycin D. Dexona This drug is also in AIDS treatment kit. Yes, you are right. The answer is B. Zidovudine. This drug is used with other HIV medications to help control HIV infection. It helps to decrease the amount of HIV in your body so your immune system can work better. What is the effect of adrenaline? A. Increase heart rate B. Vasoconstriction C. Vasodilation D. Both A and B Nurses who work in ICU can answer this question. Yes, you are right. It is D. Both A and B Adrenaline mechanism of action is stimulation of A1 receptors in vascular smooth muscles. So it causes vasoconstriction and increase heart rate. The medicine given during acute anaphylactic reaction is A. Atropine B. Aminophylline C. Derifilin D. Adrenaline Did you guess the answer? Please comment in the comment box whether your answer is right. Yes, it is answer D. It is Adrenaline. So, Adrenaline is the primary medication used to treat anaphylaxis, a severe allergic reaction that can be a life-threatening. Right answer is option D. Digoxin is not given when heart rate is A below 60, B below 70, C below 80, D below 90. Did you guess the answer? 
Always heart rate is very important. Yes, the guest answer is right. It's option A below 60. Check pulse before you take digoxin. If the pulse is under 60 beats per minute and you have to wait for 5 minutes and check the pulse again, call your healthcare provider. In the following, which analgesic is given in old age? A. Aspirin B. Morphine C. Diclofenac Sodium D. Ampicillin Did you guess the answer? Analgesics. It's used for pains. Yes, your answer is right. Answer C. Diclofenac Sodium Diclofenac is used to treat mild to moderate pains. It helps to relieve symptoms of arthritis. In a 75-year-old patient who had undergone hip replacement surgery, which size of cannula is used for IV infusion? A. 16 number B. 18 number C. 20 number D. 22 number Yes, you are right. It is B. 18 number. An 18 gaze IV cannula is often used for blood transfusions and IV medications or fluids because it can accommodate a faster flow rate of blood. Florence Nightingale was born in which country? A. England B. Germany C. Italy D. France I think you have guessed the answer. Put it in the comment box. Yes, you are right. It is option C. Italy Florence Nightingale was born on May 12, 1820 in Florence, Italy. Although her parents were from England, she was born in Italy while they were traveling. Hospice is the treatment concept for A. Terminally ill cancer patients B. Cardiac patients C. Psychiatric patients D. All of the above Have you guessed the answer? Yes, the answer is option A. Terminally ill cancer patients Hospice care is a treatment concept for people with a terminal illness who are approaching the end of their life. It is designed to help patients and their families. In which of the following positions patient is not lying down? A. Trendlenburg B. Sims C. Fowlers D. Rose Did you guess the answer? Yes, the answer is right. It is option C. Fowler's position. Fowler's position is a semi-sitting position where a patient's head is raised to an angle and their knees may be bent or straight. There are how many deciliters in 1 liter? A. 1 B. 10 C. 100 D. 1000 Did you guess the answer? We have to divide it with 1 liter. So how many deciliters? If we see it's option B. 10 There are 10 deciliters in 1 liter. In order to understand and remember the value of a deciliter, you can look at the prefix deci which means 10. Stay safe, stay healthy. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Part 4 will be uploaded soon. Share with your friends. Thank you.